Today, I'm reviewing this bag. Now, we bought this bag for our little Audrey. Now, if you remember, a few weeks ago, I reviewed this bag, which is the one we use for Arthur. Now, if you missed that review, you can catch it on this link right here. Now, we bought Audrey's bag two years ago in Canada at a pet store called Mondou. It's called a Bergen bag. Now this, we bought, choose this one because it was a good size and it was also said that it was um, airline approved for in-cabin flight. Now we haven't tested it so we don't know how accurate that is. Now this bag has got quite an amount of features. This is the entrance here for the dog and it zips up and you can clip it so that it doesn't accidentally zip open. Same thing for the front where you've got just the head hole here which also zips and clips and it has a fair few pockets on this. It's got three pockets. So clip this. It's got a pocket here on the back, one here on the side and on the other side it also has a pocket with a velcro. Um, I do find these pockets are very small and if you put stuff it actually tends to actually push into your dog because it doesn't have um, space for the actual pocket so you can't put too much, can put a few treats, maybe a lead um, but wouldn't put too much more in there. It has also this other zip which you may think is a pocket but it's actually access so that if your dog is completely confined in the bag and you don't want it to leave the bag but want it pat it, you can actually put your hand through and pat it and give it some affection. It's got a whole lot of net, netting as you can see, so it's very, very breathable. Now inside the bag, it has a bed, which is velcroed on, trying to get it out. There you go. And uh, it's very comfortable, it looks very comfortable, it's quite cushiony. And if you take this hard piece out, this is machine washable. Um, so very nice and comfortable for your pet and easy to put back in afterwards. Now if you have a car, it has a strap if you want to, if you don't have a car seat like we do, you can have your pet inside the bag and if you remove these straps you can actually put your seat belt through it for safety. So that's a nice feature if you don't have a car seat or any other way to transport your pet in the car. Um, so this is the handle that you can use and have with the cushiony strap there. Um, I don't use this a lot because I find that it's more comfortable for me to have him on my shoulder because although they're very light, they can get heavy after a while. So we use the shoulder strap here. Right now, it is positioned on the side. Uh, the shoulder strap is adjustable here and has the cushion padding here which is not very paddy, it's just slightly more comfortable than this fit would be. Um, but this can also be taken off completely or you can switch it to tie it on the front here and back as opposed to side to side. And then if you lose your little one You've got a little tag where you can put your name and address and your little one's name on it. Audrey, did that. Okay, so when I first had this bag and put Audrey in here, it was difficult. He didn't know how, he wouldn't go in it. So what I had to do is put my hand through the head hole and I had to grab his head, push his butt in and just slightly pull on the head until he came in. And as you can see now, he's so used to it, he just goes in like nothing. He also comes out, I just have to ask him and he will do on its own. He's extremely comfortable in here. He never um, seems to be arguing or complaining about being in there. Um, so it's pretty good. Now, it is not as stylish as the Genevieve bag, which looks more like a handbag, but then you guys might prefer this style. But this style really definitely looks like a pet bag as opposed to the other one that looks like a handbag. Now, the one issue I have with this one is Audrey just turned around because he was more comfortable that way. And makes it difficult to demo this, but if his head is here, my 
issues with this strap. I'm transporting him here and I've got to make sure that the strap is in between my body and his head because if it's on the other side then you could strangle your dog here and when I grab this to switch him then it's very wobbly because it's just one strap and not two and so if I move him to this side I also have to make sure that I switch this around so that his head is on the other side of the strap and the strap is in between my body and his head. Thank you, you've turned around little boy. Um, and there you go, there's the demo. But if I have it on the other side of his head, I could just strangle him. Which is why it's a better idea, Audrey, it's a better idea to use the side ones here. But then again, you can have the same issue for this side, for example. Again, now this is wobbly, but in a different way. He's not very happy about it. And if I hold him here, I might still strangle him. So if you use it this side, you have to make sure that you always carry your pet on this side. So he has to be on your right side of your body so that this doesn't strangle him. You okay, little buddy? Yes, you good. Now, because of this feature, which can be very dangerous and you have to be very careful, I'm giving this bag a rating of three. Now, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and go through my other reviews. Thank you.